my channel. Today I am going to be talking to you all about the Louis Vuitton Cosmetics Case PM. Now the PM stands for the petite model or the smaller one. There is one size that is a little bit larger. Um, I think it's about probably that much bigger and I use this one as my catch-all so I just keep that in my bag to store all of the little extras that won't fit in my wallet or anywhere else just to make sure that if I do have to find something everything is together and this also helps for moving purses so I can just take one little bag out of one purse and put it in another purse and I don't have to worry about taking out you know five little items and making sure that I didn't forget anything. Now I also use this as a cosmetics pouch so if I do need to go somewhere Wear, like for the weekend or something and I don't need it as a catch-all I can just put some cosmetics items in it now today I'm going to be doing a review of this item so that way you can see all of the features that this has you can see how you can use it and then what all fits inside so let's get started now first off with the construction this is one large piece of canvas so where you see the Louis Vuitton LVs are up right here on the back they are upside down now this is not an indicator that an item is fake it is just because the way that they construct it is they have the piece of canvas starts up here and goes all the way around and ends up here. So that's why they're upside down on one side and upright on the other side. Now on either side you do have two little tabs of Vachetta leather. This is the untreated leather so if you do get water or anything on it it will spot and start to stain. It will also start to patina over time and they will get darker and you'll see that the, how they turn a honey gold color. Now if you do use this as a cosmetic bag, I would be careful not to keep it next to the sink because water could splash up on it, I'd get water marks on here, and then that would lead to an uneven patina and you'll actually see those individual spots. So if you are going to use this as a cosmetic pouch, I would recommend uh, sealing this with an apple guard or a leather spray just to make sure that they do patina evenly and you don't get any marks or blemishes on them. Now getting into the bag, there is just the one zipper on the top here and that comes all the way down onto the sides. Now it's not just on the top portion of the bag because it comes down to the sides, it gives you a nice wide opening so you can easily get your items inside. Uh, taking a look inside, there is one small slip pocket here as well as the hot stamp, the Louis Vuitton Paris Made in France hot stamp right there on that side. Um, there's just the one slip pocket inside so if you didn't need to put anything, uh, you could put band-aids, feminine products, anything small and flat right in there that would fit nicely. And then the rest is just one big open interior. The lining in here is a leather material so that way it is easily wipeable and you can clean it. Um, if it was a fabric and you had a spill or something inside then that would easily stain and you wouldn't be able to clean that as well. So for a cosmetic pouch this is awesome to make sure that you don't get any stains or any unsightly spots or anything inside. If you do want to use this as a cosmetics pouch and you want to see what all fits inside I'm going to go ahead and show you that. I did just pack it with a whole bunch of cosmetic items. It did kind of distort it just a little bit as you can see here um, but I wanted to show you what all can fit in here. So I'm going to show you everything that I put in here and you can see that it is packed pretty full. I don't really have too many small travel size items so if you do have a lot of travel items you would be able to fit a lot more in here. Going in here I'm going to start with the largest item and that is my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. This is the regular full size and that can easily fit in here. You can see a size comparison so that can fit in here no problem. And then that is the room that is left once I do take out that setting powder. So in here I have a YSL lipstick and then this is a YSL lip gloss and th these are both full size products and those easily fit in here. The tubes here are a lot larger than normal lipsticks so those fit no problem. I have a full size Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush here. I have a mascara. This is the Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara. I have a liquid lipstick and this is the Stila Stay All Day liquid lipstick. I have a couple of concealers. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer as well as the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have an eyeliner and that is the uh, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And then finally the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Dip for brow gel. And that is everything that fit in there. So I will show you again real quick 
how I pack that. I started with the longer items first and I just lined the bottom with those. And then I put in the bulkier items here, just on the side, this loose setting powder here on the other side. I'll show you what that looks like here. Make sure you can see it. And then the two smaller pieces here. And that Laura Mercier setting powder is what is kind of difficult with getting it zipped. You can see those setting powders right there. But that zipped up just fine here. It's just a little bit distorted, but you can fit a whole bunch in here. And then again, that's what all it looks like. Now the other way I use this bag is as a catch-all in the bottom of my purse. Um, it mostly goes in my Neverfull just since I do have plenty of room to go in there. Uh, if you see one of my other videos, I did kind of touch base on what I do keep in here, but I'll just show you again what items I use. So I keep a facial spray. This is the Mario Badesco Skincare Facial Spray and you can see that easily fits in here for as big as this bag is uh, or this little cosmetic pouch. Um, then I have a, uh, it's a Victoria's Secret body lotion, again full size, you can see how that fits and that goes right on top here. Some hand sanitizer and then I even have a little nail kit so this has uh, some like tweezers, nail clippers, things like that and that can go right on the top there. And if I can find the zipper, <laughs> there we go. And that fits easily here. So this little pouch is really super versatile. I was trying to decide if I wanted to get this one or the mini pochette. The mini pochette is also great, but since I have the little key pouch as well, I didn't really need one that was slightly bigger than the key pouch. I wanted one that would hold a little bit more items. And then this one also has that wipeable interior. So that's really the main thing that sold me on this bag. So it's larger and it has that wipeable interior in case there is any leaking or stains or anything like that. Um, the only negative about this bag compared to the mini pochette, I, I'm just talking about the mini pochette because a lot of people use that as a catch-all, is this does not have any additional hooks or anything so you can't put a chain on it like you can with the mini pochette and wear it as a super mini bag. Um, that's really the only downside I've, I've found to this but I don't really plan on using this or I wouldn't use it as a mini bag so this for what I need it for is perfect. If you are still on the fence about purchasing this piece, I highly encourage you to go to the Louis Vuitton store, try it out, see how all of your items fit inside. They'll definitely let you do that. Uh, you can compare it with some of the other items like the mini pochette or any of the other uh, kitchens, toiletries, things like that. See which one works best for you. If you do have any questions though, or you have found an additional use for this, I would love to hear about it. Just leave me a comment down below. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button just to make sure that you are notified every time I upload a new video which is all the time and if you did like this video please give me a thumbs up and until next time see you later bye Subscribe to my channel.